The question now, though, is if I take this away, does it all come crashing down? Oh, it did not. That one did. Hey everyone, Arali here, and thank you for joining me today as we play some Ark on the Primitive server here on Gaming Evolved. You can see the nest behind me, and we are in the central ruins. You might wonder why we're over here, and we've been living a solitary life on the seas, and I will show you why. Looks like Monkey Puzzle and Jim Bob Sauce have already started building the community stuff, and I wanted to be part of that. So, I actually have laid something out here to kind of try some things out. I thought I'd bring you guys along with me once we've seen kind of how some of it worked. Um, so... Let's run, let's run over there real quick and kind of see what they're doing first so we can kind of be on the same page. I don't have all the materials I'm going to need to kind of keep up with them, but I have some stuff to get us started. So these are just the basic lumber ceilings, but out here they actually have the pontoon bridges. And these are foundations that actually don't require support being touched like directly against the ground. They can float in the water, um, so you can snap them off of something you currently have, and they could actually cross this entire thing now and make like a floating base, which would be pretty sweet. And it's something that we did a little bit of in the first version of the primitive server that we played on. So Monkey has made a like a garden juice bar kind of thing. Done some cool decorating here for it. You can see all of the crazy plants that are unique to Primitive Plus. So there's lots of cool stuff in here. We got the juicer and some barrels and stuff. Got a nice seating area out here for people if they're going to, you know, once they get their designer juices and stuff. So it looks great. And then Jim Bob's working on what's going to be like a, uh, like a tavern inn type thing. Holy crap, he has done more than I thought he did. Uh, so I'm, I guess I should talk to him to make sure it's okay for me to show you guys this. That's a lot of stuff. Holy crap. All right, so... <laughs> Oh, it's like, it's like for darts. That's awesome. All right, we're going to get out of here just in case he doesn't want me to be showing this stuff off. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's go back over here. What I uh, kind of wanted to take on was I wanted to make a, like a blacksmith place. So I want to make like our own little smithy and stuff. So we're going to do that right over here. Um, I wanted to actually try something out. Now you guys, if you've watched any of my other stuff, you know that I'm, I have no problem lowering foundations. I've never raised a foundation ever before so i had to actually watch some of monkey puzzles videos to figure out how to do this and i'm not sure i have it 100 right but i think it worked like i wanted to with these two down here they look like they're going to intersect where the wall would be i think which would be what i want so we're going to try that over here so you guys can see how we did that real quick so we get the materials out here i'm going to put this down here so we already got the foundation and then you use pillars so you snap a pillar to the center and then you put a ceiling on top, then you step another pillar in, and we should have one that's down low that's about the same height as the one we had already. See how it's inlaid there? Is it? That's too tall. Okay, that's not right. Hold on. <laughs> like I said, I've only done this one time. So, uh, oh, there, that one right there. See how it's kind of intermixed in, in between? And, really? <laughs> so that's the right place to put it. Come on. No, too high. Okay, I'm gonna just try pressing Q a little bit here. No, no, no. There is one here, I swear, because that's how I got the other ones to go where they needed to. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just show you up here. So you see how, let me turn that off. You see how the cross members now? We've got a whole bunch of cross members lined up on top of each other. That's how you know that it's actually working like it's supposed to. Uh, is it just too close? See, that's going to put it in the same spot. I don't want the one that's already there. Really? You're killing me, Smalls. <laughs> well, I may not be able to show you this, guys. I, was, I had every intention of showing you how I did this. Because that's too high it shouldn't be that high all right let's let's do this i'm gonna just take one i'm gonna take one more try at this all right one more try get this down I'll put one on here come on one more just one more try i'm, t I'm pressing q there's no other snap point that is showing because it's got to pretty much just snap right over top of that. But, like, that one's got to replace it. So, 
All right, well, I said one more try, I lied. We'll do one more again. Okay. Okay, well, apparently, apparently it's not happening. I'm gonna hang my head in shame. Oh, <laughs> it's all right though, because we already did it once. Anyways, the idea is that you would just snap in the pillar, put another ceiling on top. Snap in the pillar, put another ceiling on top. And if you do that over and over again, you should actually really get a spot like this, where there's a couple different uh, points for a foundation to snap. I can show you that still. So you can see we've got the one down there, and then we've got the one off to the side now. I don't know if I can show you the other fun, the other one's already there 100%, but there's actually a snap point for each of those pillars going up now to make that work. Now, we don't need that anymore because I've already done that part for us, so we're just going to kind of leave this where it's at now. Um, okay, so we should be good. I should be able to take this down, and we should be okay. I say that, and somehow... Everything's going to destroy itself when I do this. Alright, so the idea that I had was to kind of have, like, a smithy, right? That had, like, all the forges and stuff out here. And then kind of, like, the shop house thing behind it. So, like I said, I just kind of just outlined this to make sure what I thought was going to work was going to fit. So, we might as well go ahead and try it out. We're going to need... What did I put? I made a bunch of concrete ones, didn't I? So, I'm going to want the concrete ones... I'm encumbered. The concrete ones are going to go over here. Because this is where the actual um, foundry type stuff, the forge stuff, is going to go. So we'll just go ahead and replace all these. And we did concrete, which I'll show you guys uh, the stuff for the concrete in just a moment here. The fresh cement, something that we've made once before. Uh, and then, it, like, if you don't use it in time, it dies. So I had to use it quickly to make all of this real quick to make sure it was going to work the way I wanted to. And then, you know, I think I made lumber foundations, and I didn't mean to. But, well, you know what? We're going to run with it, I think. Oh, did I just do this? You know what I did? I think I did that backwards from what I meant to do. I meant all of this over here to be wood. And the... <laughs> uh, uh, all right. I'll bring you guys right back. Okay, guys, welcome back. Now we are set it with our base at the bottom and our base up top here. Um, I was going to try something. I don't know if I like having that wood fence foundation up there. I might have to get rid of that. But so this is the basics for uh, that kind of house part. So we're going to actually probably do this part first. Uh, I'm going to put the door. I'm going to put the door right here. I don't know if there's an inner or outer. It should, well, it should automatically do the outer out that direction. So we should be good on that. Um, let's see, so, let's do, let's do a window here, I think, and then we'll do, we'll do a wall, and then let's do another, let's do a window. I haven't actually thought this part all the way through, so, uh, bear with me. <laughs> Put this one here, put one of these guys over here, got two windows there, that makes sense. Uh, this side... Let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and put... Let's put another window here. And then we'll do a wall. And then... On this side... Let's actually mirror... Let's mirror that one. Did that look like it snapped lower to you guys? That was a little weird, right? We'll go ahead and put one of these here. These guys here. Maybe we'll do another window on this side, right? Okay, so put that there. And then on the other side, it looks like I've already decided we're going to go opposite of that, so that's fine. Oh, I don't even have enough. I don't even have enough windows to do what I was talking about. That's fine. Yeah, okay, that's good. This will be we're going to have people come up through here, and then we'll kind of have like a little shop set up in here for it. I haven't actually got to doing any of that stuff yet. I just, like I said, I kind of want to just get the uh, the main section done for now. So let's go ahead and take these. Then we've got some slope too, right? Yeah, we do. Let's go ahead and grab those. I shouldn't need any water right now, so we should be okay without that. I just replaced the other one, didn't I? Of course. Put this down here. Put this guy right there. Okay. So we've got our base level here. So we're going to go ahead and come up here. And we're going to go... Let's see. Let's go ahead and put our... 
We're gonna want, let's see, probably just a wall. We'll probably just do walls, actually, all the way around on this level. I think. Because this is going to be... Oh, I just realized there's like... Different... Just different pieces. Is that just kind of random? Like, I didn't pick those at all. Huh. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and just put a whole bunch of these in there. That's going to be that level. And then the next level up is we're going to actually start doing our uh, slope. So, we're going to go ahead and put, uh, we need this one here, we're going to slope this way on this side, and then we're going to go ahead and put windows on both sections there, and then this way again at the top. Alright, that's good. Alright, and then over here, and window again, window on this piece, one of these there. Alright, so that's the basis for the house piece out here. Now, oh, do I, really? I hate, I really, really hate that bug. <laughs> I don't have to crouch down every time we go in or out of this, but the only way I know to get past that is to put a, uh, to put a door above that, and it would look really weird on the side of this to do that. Hmm. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get out of here. Now, the idea out here was to go ahead and have a slope piece as well that goes against this. Hmm, do I need an extra? I might need an extra wall for what I was thinking about doing here. Well, you know what? We'll find out in just a second. I'm going to start laying some stuff. Did that? Okay, that's, I was like, did those go over top of the concrete? But it didn't. Okay. So I'm going to start laying this piece out then, and we'll see if I do need more pieces or not. Uh, let's see. I'm going to need some pillars. I'll tell you what, we can actually put away these for now. So let's go and put those away and those away. We got the pillars we need, and then we're going to need some fence foundations too, I think, to make this work. So we might have to do all the fence foundations anyways. Nope, I want right on the edge. Not, not there. <laughs> I want them on top. Because what I want to do is get the pillars I want to snap in here. There we go, that's good. There we go. And one more. Good. Actually, I might have to put some more over here, too, to get this to work the way I want. Maybe I'll just line the whole thing with them so I can do that. So I would need, what, uh, eight more? Eight more, I think. Let's grab some stuff real quick, and we will do that. Some fiber. Okay. I think that's right. Man, the light goes away so fast here on the center. It's crazy. Like, it's it just, like, I wanted to record this as much as I could in one setting with the sun, but it is already getting dim here. That's crazy. What time is it in the game? Okay, yeah. All right, then. So let's get this stuff laid out real quick, and we'll see what we're looking at. Hopefully we'll have enough time before it gets to be... Uh, dark here again to at least get the basic stuff laid out. I've got a feeling I'm going to have to go make some more, uh... I feel I have to go make some more pieces anyways, because I don't... I, I think with my thought process that this may not be tall enough. We'll find out in just a second, so... Put that there. One of these guys. Come on. Yep. Oh, yeah, you can definitely tell it's going to be nighttime. Uh, uh, <laughs> Q? Q? Nothing? There we go. Okay, so now I've got all our pieces in that way. What I want to do, then, is put a pillar in the corner. And I want to go too high. And I think that if I go too high with this, like two pillars high, you can't snap there? There you go. I think that if I go two pillars high, that that wall right here may not be tall enough for my what I want to do. So I think I actually have to add another layer of, uh, of house on here. So I'm going to go grind out some more materials, guys. 
And then I'll bring you guys back probably uh, tomorrow for in-game time. And we will make some more stuff here and try to get this black blacksmith shop up and running. Well, guys, dawn is breaking, so I thought I'd bring you guys back. Uh, I have finished getting this right, so it's now two walls uh, high out here, which should let us work for the front. And I actually started getting the front going, and I had a scary thought. So I want to put all of this, uh, like I want to make this all lumber like we see here. But I'm worried that if I take this away, this is all going to fall down. Now, the theoretically, the pillars should support it. But because it's snapped to this, I'm worried that it's not going to. So the only thing I could do to fix that would be to actually snap another ceiling out here. But if I do that, it's going to look really weird. <laughs> so I figured that before before I did all of that, I would try... Actually, you know what we could do? I should probably put a ceiling out there just to see. Because if that'll fix it, then I guess I, I might have to look at doing that. So let's go ahead and grab that real quick. So if this is here, could I could I deal with that if I had to? I guess I could deal with that if I have to. I could just build back all the way back and across the front. The question now, though, is if I take this away, does it all come crashing down? Well, it did not. That one did. Okay, so that's not going to work the way I hoped it would. Alright, so I guess that means I have to build off that piece and then see about snapping another section in. So that's going to be a little bit different than I had thought about doing originally. So uh, we're going to try that out real quick. Let's see. If I do... The problem is if I built it that way, it's not going to let me do the arch I want to do in the front. Or the arch. The, uh, the slope I want to do in the front. I guess the other option is I could put... I could put door frames over here. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's doable. Do I have enough to do that? Do I have any stuff for door frames? I don't think I have any lumber. I have barely any lumber planks. Alright, let's go grab some lumber planks. I think I've got some on the nest here. We're going to make four door frames, and we'll see if that will... If I'm good... Oh, oh, I was inside the bird for a second. Oh, I don't even think I have enough stone to do that, though. I need stone, don't I? Uh, okay, back on you. Get some stone real quick, and then we'll get these doors made up. I'll bring you guys back in just a second here. Whoa, too heavy. Don't go too far. Don't go too far. I need you. <laughs> All right, I'll bring you guys back in just a few. Okay, we're back. I think I've got this worked out in a way that I am okay with. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do down there, if I'm going to be okay with the door frames or not. But uh, before we go too much farther, I want to go ahead and get uh, at least some of this done real quick. Uh, did I bring the window frames with me? Boy, I hope so. Yep. Okay, good. So I'm going to go ahead and put these guys in place. Let's just go over here to make sure that we should do one of these. If we could just... Thank you. One of these guys and one of those guys. Alright, so that's going to be that piece there. And it's going to come back along this way. So I needed to have this one up here just so I could actually get up to do this part in a second too uh that does mean though that you're gonna have to go over here you got that just jump on down there for me buddy thank you very much okay so i'm gonna go ahead and come on out a little bit here uh, if i can i should be able just to get up here I hate when it does that. Did, did you place or did you not place? Is this server lag? There we go. <laughs> I'm always afraid to press the button again. And we should be okay to start going the other direction too. Is there going to be a weird gap here? There's going to be a tiny little gap there. Eh, that's fine. We'll be okay with it. So let's get this roof all the way in here, shall we? Uh, uh, right here. 
We're just looking for right now, if you guys see, we're just kind of looking for the green line to snap up top. I guess at this point I could go on the other side and probably be fine. See, that one moved at the end, so it probably isn't 100% lined up. Oh, it looks like it's lined up nicely. Okay. Uh, uh. Come back around this side. Okay. okay, now we should just have to do this over here. Which I think... I th did I make the right amount? I mean, <laughs> I mean, I know that that should kind of be the goal, but I also know me well enough to know that that rarely ever happens. Oh, oh. <gasps> no way, and I didn't break any. Holy crap, awesome. All right. So, got that little gap there, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and get a look from out here. Can I even get far enough out? I don't think I can. It looks pretty saving from up here, but out here it should not. Okay, let's try going out here then. How about from this direction? Can we see better? Yeah, I like that. And I think I'm okay with the door frames. I'm not sure. I don't know what I think about the door frames being there. I mean, I kind of need them, because like, the ceiling won't stay up otherwise. I'll have the ceiling, the rest of it doesn't stay up. Uh, I guess there's other options I might have to come up with. I'm going to replace the pillars, too, to be honest. But that's the basic layout for us on the outside, guys. Let's go ahead and get a, a view from over here. So that's going to be our blacksmith shop, our smithy right there. Now, I want to actually put in some stuff, too, still, so we can see some of that. But let's go ahead and try to get a view from out here. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. So let's get some of the stuff in. And it's the center, so rain. Yep, there it is. I see we're still having that weird bug with <laughs> the crop plots getting off crazy. You loving that rain, huh, buddy? Okay. So, let's go ahead and get a couple of the things. I don't have everything I want yet. I just kind of wanted to get some things done so I could show you guys. Um, and I don't... <laughs> let's see. My thought was uh, to put a fireplace in, just because it kind of would look cool. It's going to be kind of hard to line this up, though, isn't it? Do I have a board that I can actually look at to see? Yeah, I kind of wanted to stick out. I think that'll be good if it's lined up. Okay, not lined up. What we're doing right now is using that front edge on the uh, on that line of the lumber. And the idea should be that if we get lined up well enough, that if we go side to side, we shouldn't change too much. So that's pretty close. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close. Now if we go to the K camera, we can kind of see how far back we are. That door frame makes it a little bit tougher. But it's green there. And I like that it's sticking out there. Let me... Let's get it right up against that piece right there. Bam. So it's got a different texture. But I like how that looks. I just kind of like having that piece there. And I like having it go at the top. And then I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and place our uh, forges right in the center. So, uh, what's the center? Right here, right? So that line is our center on that piece right there. And I think we're actually going to have to... I think I want to do four. Now, this is going to be a little rough because it's going to want to... Uh, they're going to have to be turned a little bit. So getting these to line up is never really a lot of fun. I'm going to back up a little bit, because I think when we start turning it, it's going to get a little crazy. You're looking right at me now. Okay. Uh... Oh yeah, that's good. That turned out pretty good, I think. 
Yeah, pretty straight. So to make a couple more of those, I want to put one of those on each. I want to have four of these in the center here for it. And then I'm going to have to put in, like, some grindstones and some hand mills and stuff. That'll be the next thing for me to do here. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go do some of that. I'm going to get some things made real quick. Uh, and then I will bring you guys back as soon as I have some more things to put in here for us to show you, hopefully, a pretty close to finalized version of this, uh, at least the outer part of this blacksmith area. Okay, welcome back, guys. Dawn is breaking, and I had an idea on how to get rid of the issue with crouching down all the time. I've already put stuff over there, I'll show you in a second, but if I just replace all of the windows that I had up there with uh, door frames... I should... Oh, I'm going to get way too much lumber from this. I should be... Oh, I didn't realize that's not going to work very well for that. Because it's going to be right over top of one. It's going to look weird. What? Where's the lumber piece across the bottom? Oh, that looks real weird. Is there different... Are there just different ones I can put in? I have it or don't? No. Alright, well, that's not going to fix anything then. <laughs> uh, what are you going to do? Okay. So, uh, that is in... So, weirdly enough, lumber stuff is in metal, which doesn't make any sense, but... Man, okay, I was... Because, like, that one over there has the wood... Ah, oh, the wood must be from the top of the other one. Hmm. And then I guess I could just put... I don't think I like that. I mean, I could put a wood one here. I have the rest be stone. Ugh. I don't like how that's gonna look. All right, well, I thought I had magically come to a solution. Uh, I have not. So, <laughs> let's put things back to uh, somewhat close to how they're supposed to be. Can we, right, right here, good. Okay, uh, I might, I might still leave those. I kinda like that, they're big and open. Okay, well, I guess I might as well show you the inside since I'm in here now. So this is, don't don't mind the debris, that'll go away. So this is going to be what the inside is. We need some more light in here still, but you're going to come in, and this is kind of like the shop here, right? So this is where customers will be able to kind of come in and hang out. Uh, I'm going to have to put some boxes or something over here. And then we've got some grindstones. We've got our advanced workbench, our construction table, got a hand mill, and then we got another grindstone hand mill and some storage over there, a little lamp right here. But I kind of thought that'd be cool, like, like when you come in, like, you know, you, you walk up to the blacksmith spot, and you're going to come into the smithy, and you have to crouch down, because we're weird. Uh, but yeah, so you kind of come in, and then, like, those guys, you know, if I was back here as a smithy, I'd be over on this side, be able to help people out as they walk in the door, and kind of get my stuff working, you know? But this is my work area. I don't want these people over. I don't want customers coming back to my work area, so I kind of wish we had, like, a little door we could put here. But So that's going to be how it is on the inside. Do I want to put more? I think I do. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And now that we've got extra stuff, let's just go ahead and ditch everything in here. We don't need that or that or... Uh, we'll put some of this stuff where it actually belongs. Put all the built stuff there. Yeah, it's fine. Alright, so let's go outside and you guys can see the actual, like, the, uh, this, the forge part of this. So we've got some stuff in here. A little storage out here. We've got ourselves four uh, refining forges. We've got a spot for some firewood. Now, I wanted to show you guys how this stuff all looks lit up. But I've run into a weird issue, and I don't know what's going on. I can put wood and stuff in here, which I already put away, and I can't light fires. Like the cooking pot, the cauldron, the brazier, uh, the fireplace. I've put wood in all of these, and there's no option. Let's see if I can... Let me just grab the wood again. So, like, I should be able to put this in here. And, oh, not in there. <laughs> And, like, there should be an option to light, and I don't have that. It's, I, something weird is going on, and I can't light any of the fires. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on. It's weird. <laughs> it's a weird bug. I actually kind of like that we've got that little gap back there, because then, theoretically, the smoke from these would go up and go out of there. So, I can light these up, which is nice. But, yeah, the rest of the stuff I can't for some reason. So, I don't know, though. There you guys go. What do you think? You like that? I hope you dig it. I kind of thought it'd be cool to have a little, uh, like, multi-level... Oh, 
like a multi-level thing instead of just having the single level. So having like the foundations a little bit taller in the back and this up here. I still need to put in the uh, pontoon stuff we see over there in the front of there so people can just kind of bring their boats or whatever right up like this. Uh, but yeah, that's that's it. I hope you guys like it. Little little smithy action. The Raleigh smithy, I guess. Ooh. Let's turn that off so you can see. Oh yeah, I think it looks great. <laughs> Alright, if you guys have liked the episode, please feel free to drop a like below. You can always subscribe for more content, and I will catch you on the flip side.